Hey kids, so yeah, like what we just said, I'm going to be doing a painting video for you guys today. Um, I'll be doing a painting of a place called Jellyfish Lake, and yeah, the name really means what it means. It's a lake full of jellyfish, and they don't sting. So I'll be telling you guys uh, why that is and how that is, and I hope you guys enjoy my painting. Hey kids, so yeah, like I said, this is Jellyfish Lake, and Jellyfish Lake is located in one of the rock islands in the Republic of Palau. The lake is a famous tourist attraction and is also a favorite spot of most, if not all, the locals. I mean, who wouldn't want to play with stingless jellyfish? But you know, kids, it wasn't always a happy time with the little jellyfishes, though. There was a time when there was a drought called El Niño. It heavily affected Palau from about 2015 to 2016. This meant that there was a great decline in the jellyfish population, and the lake was closed to let the jellyfish heal. So, good news! The plan to isolate the lake to give its best chance of healing worked, and as of last year, 2019, the little jellies started coming back, and the lake is now reopened. So let's get to the part that most of you are probably the most curious about. How are these jellyfishes stingless or harmless? Well, the lake is very old and it's been isolated from the rest of the ocean as long as it's been there, obviously. <laughs> it's called a lake. And since it's been isolated for so long, these jellyfish have lost the need for their stingers. So kids, this is why it's pretty cool. Um, there's no way for other predators to get into the lake so they don't need their stingers to defend themselves. And they also don't need their stingers to catch prey because they live off the algae that gets stuck to them. So without the need to defend themselves from predators or to catch prey, they have evolved to be completely harmless. Although the jellyfish are harmless, the lake itself isn't completely harmless. Scuba diving is not allowed because 15 meters down below the surface, there are high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide which can be absorbed through the diver's skin and can even cause death. So if you want to go, after COVID-19 of course, please stick to playing on the surface with the little jellies. Palau is my home and very dear to my heart and I'm so happy to be able to share with you all some of the wonders that it holds. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint, and I also hope you guys enjoyed learning about these stingless jellyfishes. Thank you all for joining me.